Dukes. That's North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un's resolution for the new year. CNN's Brian Todd is working the story for us. Brian, Kim also wants other new weapons of war. Wolf, he wants new intercontinental ballistic missiles, and he's just introduced a multiple rocket launcher that puts all of South Korea in range. Kim Jong-un's swagger is indeed on full display, once again creating a very dangerous moment on the Korean peninsula. A new year brings a new round of threats from North Korea's combative, soon-to-be 39-year-old dictator. Kim Jong-un, citing an increased threat he perceives from the U.S. and South Korea, calls for a, quote, exponential increase of the country's nuclear arsenal and the mass production of tactical nuclear weapons. That's a bad enough problem as it is, uh, assuming that he's got some tens of nuclear weapons right now, uh, even if he just continues to build up at that pace, that, that is a challenge. Kim also called for the development of a new intercontinental ballistic missile system for North Korea. Analysts say Kim has tested a couple of ICBMs that are believed to be capable of hitting the continental United States. But he still needs to perfect the ability of those missiles to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. In terms of the re-entry, that's actually something interesting that they flagged, uh, that Kim flagged uh, this past week or so, is their interest in developing that re-entry system, perhaps testing it in some uh, conspicuous way that we could see. In recent days, Kim Jong-un has also bragged about this ominous-looking new weapon, what North Korean state media calls the country's, quote, super-large multiple rocket launcher, which it says was test-fired over the weekend a launcher that Kim's regime claims can be loaded with tactical nuclear warheads and put all of South Korea within range. Kim's public swagger in recent weeks has shown no signs of diminishing. He's just attended New Year's celebrations where children bestowed him with flowers. In mid-November, as he oversaw the test launch of one ICBM, he had in tow a young girl who South Korean intelligence believes is his daughter, Kim Joo A, believed to be around 10 years old, who had rarely, if ever, been seen in public before. But in private, the palace intrigue in Pyongyang is as formidable as ever. State media reports Kim just fired Pak Jong Chan, the most powerful military official in North Korea, other than Kim himself. This could be the internal, uh, you know, Game of Thrones inside North Korea. He has not been able to achieve his objectives, uh, and so he is likely making personnel changes. And the other thing that we're seeing, of course, uh, is that he can accept no responsibility for failure. So he must have scapegoats. So how should the U.S. and South Korea respond to Kim Jong-un's latest threats? Analyst David Maxwell says it's important for the U.S. and South Korea to strengthen their alliance, keep up their joint military drills, and to find other ways to put more pressure on the dictator. Maxwell says of Kim Jong-un that history tells us he will not attack strength, Wolf. they got to show resolve here. Important point. Brian Todd reporting. Thank you very much.